Good day everyone, this is Armored Annie. Welcome back to Subsistence and Season 2 and we are on episode 86 and look there's the glass door there just shining off in the distance that we finished up yesterday and we are wait we need to wait to be able to make the glass panels for the other door. I have the glass ready, it is in here, but we are saving our mass and power because ah ha ha there you go we can come down now and click on upgrade go free range be free now a uh, feces tray that's going to be one alloy sheet and one more ingot so there you go be free little chicken be free now don't run off which is what happened to me on the server yesterday on the community server on I go stream I had two chickens out I came out and fed them went inside came back out and there was only one chicken and one of them had run away and it was a sealed in it's a sealed enclosure there's nowhere for them to go so I do not know what happened to that right uh so let's just check again yes you have well you don't have a lot of food so I've just been giving you my protein bars haven't I but we'll 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 um we'll do that to start off with and we'll see how you get on now whilst we're waiting for this canteen to do and we'll pick those up uh we need to eat ourselves we need to do something about this look it's a bit pitiful um we do not have a lot of food in here we need to get uh what do we need to get we need to get hang on, yeah i'm just gonna turn that off a second just until we head out oh, it's moose season so have we got plenty of shotgun shells we'll maybe take a couple of extra I could do with killing two more things than my 44 because they'll give me my achievement <laughs> 100 kills so and of course every day so far we've had an unexpected raid but today the irony is we're expecting a raid that may or may not happen because we killed the hunter that was glitched in here who was probably a fisherman and sometimes when we've killed fishermen we don't get revenge so today we'll expect one and maybe not get it oh I haven't done the range extender here, have I? No, I still haven't done the range extender for this little bit. So that's something else that needs to be worked on. Right. Hey, I like we finally got a chicken. I'm really happy about this. We're going to get, where do we get a screenshot with our chicken? There you go. Look, chicken. I feel like I'm kind of actually making it because of that chicken. Right. What do we have out here? Oh. That's a nice delivery. Beautifully balanced. And it's full of ammo. We we like deliveries like that. Right. Uh, oh, I still haven't made water canteens for this, have I? Did I? Oh, well, I should have really tried to glitch that through so I could open it on the other side as well. Oh, I did make water canteens. Oh, there you go. At some point, previous me has actually done what no no that's not how it works we open that and we go fill all canteens then we do that there we go let's back away yes i could do with trying to glitch that through the wall is it going to let me ah no 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 <laughs> no don't wave at it cancel it yeah that wouldn't work unless it will let me stick it on there because otherwise I'll have to move the... Yeah, okay, fine. Shush. Stop it. Uh, oh, what way are we going to go? Now, there are rogues. Right, pull up the map. Oh, lit up for once. There are rogues down here somewhere. Unless I didn't check... Yeah, there you go. There's a fire there. But we really need sinew. So back out the map, Annie. Which would mean going this away. Uh, I thought that was something up on the roof then. Well, it is. It's your floodlight, Annie. It would involve... So I'm just feeling... I turn my game sound up. Feeling very twitchy this morning for some reason. So maybe it's been all these unexpected raids that have been going on that have made me like it. But I'm definitely a little bit twitchy. Right. Yeah, we're planning. We are coming for you, Charlie boy. I can see you over there. Sitting all high and mighty in your fortress. Feeling unassailable. We are working on it. 
it's just a little bit slow. It's one of those things, are you ever ready? It's like having kids, you wait till you're ready, you'll never have them because you'll never be ready. So I guess it's a bit... <laughs> um, yes, I am lightning raiding Charlie the Fortress in a game to raising kids. There you go, that's obviously where my brain is at this morning. But no, it's um, yeah, you get what I mean. If you wait until you're hundred percent ready and you've got a trillion health kits, mind you, I probably do need more than three bandages. I'm just seeing that. <laughs> yeah, definitely more than three bandages before we go and see the fortress. Why are we doing on health kits? Four. Yeah. Okay. Forget the ammo. Um. Or door breaches. I think, you know, probably. The most important thing that we need to have is health kits and bandages. That I don't think we can do without. If I get through the doors and everything, I can get in and I can take all pickaxes and don't worry about grenade tip towers and just spend a lot of time editing out the video so you don't have to watch me breaking down all the doors. But health kits, yeah. Now, of course one of the guys, either Charlie, I think we are Charlie, as well as coming to fish down to me, they do also come up to the glacial pond so possibly oh, really? that's as dangerous or as um, what's the word? something to be wary of as, as much to be wary of as the cougar or the moose I do have a double barrel, yes. So that was a really sudden panic. Okay, let's stand that way so we can watch them. Yes, I think I need to kill six more wolves, two moose, and just two more things with my 44 to get uh, another couple of achievements. But as you know, I'm not, I, I haven't been those general ones. I'm, you know, kill a hundred things. I'm not actually go. I'm not consciously going for those achievements because I don't have the ammo to be honest um right I'm gonna pay a little bit more attention to our surroundings this chicken frightened me Mina no that was a rabbit it wasn't even a chicken oh right Annie this is not bode well we're going and seeing cougars there's a wolf hiding let's get your eye in girl and think about where you are right cougar is up on the other side of those guys we could go along the river and on the other side through the ponds not because there aren't any animals over there but because then that way we could always sneak up round to where the other cougar is so in like this area because you can get up to Jeez, I was my brain was trying to identify what that's what was making that sound. I could hear it, and my hearing seems a little bit odd this morning. I, I'm noticing for the first time I have a hearing loss on one particular pitch in my right ear, and this is a whoa. Don't mind me, bear. Just passing through. You just go back to what you're doing. Um. Let's stand here and regroup a minute whilst I'm talking. So, oh, hello, Mr. Piggy. So, uh, what was I saying? Yes, I was trying to work out what that sound was and have a slight loss of hearing in one ear and I could not identify it. Everything seems slightly muffled in my right ear this morning. So, oh, scrap. But yeah, that was a very odd sound without the context of me standing there looking at a fish that I was reeling in or a rabbit that I'd shot or something. Oh, let me get you. Where was the box? So the box is... Let's just do that in case. Oh look, I bet you I wouldn't you be proud of me? Did it. Boop, boop. Uh, so I don't see any fishermen on that side of the lake that's good 
Of course, I'm quite far away if the sign comes up now for the base raid. I've had it really. Because I don't actually know there'd be any point in me running back. However, if you saw the damage that the undefended raid did on my base in the multiplayer, you'll understand why I'm a bit nervous about not being there. Let's take this copper. Uh, have an apple. Right, there's a bear over there. Oh, I'm quite nervous now. I think the problem with the cougars is that if you... Oh, there's a man up there. If you die to the cougars, then they're the ones most likely that when you come back... Oh. There's rogues over here, look. Oh, gosh, there's rogues over here, look. Oh, I did not know there were rogues over here, look. Maybe I didn't have this bit of the map open. No, here we come. Three health kits and two bandages. Left, is what I'm saying, sorry. Fire starter, that's handy. Well, that was unexpected. Got my achievement. Um, oh, I thought I just, oh, I did that, okay. There you go. Um, did I reload you? Yes, I did. Right, okay, so. Um, not what I was looking for. Does that mean there's a level something bear up here? No. That way. Here we go. I know it annoys you all that I don't use numbers and I spin. I'm sorry. So... A bear ran up here and killed you. Okay, he would have despawned. Possibly, if you killed him, and if he can, I hear the cougar. It's very difficult with the water sound because there's something on a similar pitch. Right, I can't see any hunter a uh, rogue bag, but I also can't see the bear. So, so they must have killed the bear, but he maybe didn't kill them. Oh, there's my cougar platform over there. I always forget that I have one because I can't see. I can't see a bag from here. Right, can we see the cougar anywhere? I can't see any movement this way. Yes, uh, did I finish what I was saying? The problem is, is that if you get killed by the cougar, that's the one thing that when you come back, she's likely to be standing over your body. There's a chicken, there's a wolf. I can't see her around here. Oh, there she is. Mm. 
no. Hiding in a brown bush. I don't know what level she is. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay. Check that we'd moved. Oh, she looks like she's sitting down. Just waiting for me. That's really horrid to cut her in the face like that. If it wasn't quite offensive, that would make quite a cool screen uh thumbnail. That might offend people. Right, okay, so everything reloaded. Yep. You don't reload that. You reload this. Uh that is done. Oh no, not everything reloaded. Right, okay. Here we go. I thought there was a person crouching up there. It's just the way a very weird shadow. Back past the lockbox. Tap it again for luck. Oh, not tap it again. That's the second lockbox I've seen. I've just realised that's a different one. Right, so that was that cougar. Do we risk doing the other one? Seeing if we can see. Well, it depends which one that was. You see, the one from over there can go to there, and the one from over here can go to there. Or rather, I've... Oh, there you go. There's another one. It's not that one, then. No, no, one more. And there's a deer behind her. Can you stand this side? Oh, I was shooting you up the bum again. Okay. Stand still. Smile for the camera. You moved again. Oh. She's coming. That way, Annie. Oh, this could be a little bit scarier. Oh, I hate it when my game does that thing. Oh. But that makes it look like there's the third cougar up there, but it's not as the deer. Right. Let's get you reloaded. And then let's get back towards the base with our sinew. What's that? Uh, eight sinew. That wasn't brilliant, to be honest, considering I could have ended up with six out of each, which would have been a lot nicer. But... It's sinew we didn't have at the start. So, if we make our way back... Uh, oh, I want to go up there. I don't really, if I'm honest. I'm just going to swim across. Oh, there's the bear that was there before, Annie. And there's going to be wolves and more bears and all sorts of things up here right if we can get our way back none of them growled or ro 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 roared or anything mind the tree any george 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 at the jungle watch out for that tree uh i'll get a little bit near and get a little bit more wood okay so unexpected bonus of rogues oh poo bears Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, look, another lock crate. Okay. Um, I completely forgot about you. Don't you forget about Alpha. Don't, don't, don't you, don't you. Yeah, we did. Uh, uh. Oh, they're how annoying. But if I shoot them all... Then you want to go and break down the door, and then we run out of time, and yada yada yada. So we just need to just just stay there, boys. It's fine. You'll keep for another day. Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Look, I want to get into the woods and do some chopping before we get back to base. I want to be stopping for chopping and not having to do any shooting. Right, let's grab this tree. It's a relatively safe tree. You're a safe tree, aren't you? 
Oh, anyway, how are you all doing? Hope your week is going well. Do give me a shout in the comments and just say hi. Touch base. You know, I'd love to hear from you guys. I like getting to know you and getting to know about you as much as you guys seem to like knowing about me. I love all the comments on my last video where I was talking about being a tomboy and people sort of sharing their stories, growing up with brothers or, you know, just stuff they used to do with their dads. It did remind me. So I was an, as I said, I'm an absolute daddy's girl. So my dad was my first biggest hero, definitely. And he always used to yeah, tell the story, apparently. So we used to, if he was home and we went to the park and I'd run off and I'd go and climb the climbing frame because, as previously mentioned, like climbing things. So let's just do that. I would climb up to the top of the climbing frame. Oh, bandage. That's helpful. Whoa. Shouldn't have run. Um, I'd climb up to the top of the climbing frame and oh, he's following and go daddy catch me and jump off from the top of the climbing frame this what's you know that's cute blah 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 yeah what was a little bit whatever was the oh, was a rabbit you kill a rabbit um what was a little bit was it whatever was the fact that my dad didn't actually have to be anywhere near me when that happened so I would, can you imagine it? You get to the, the park. You enter the park together through the little gate. Kitty runs off and runs off to start playing on the equipment. Yeah. Normal scenario. Yep. So little girl runs all the way up, climbs up to the top of the climbing frame, goes, catch me daddy and steps off. Apparently dad said, he said there'd be times when he wasn't even, you know, it didn't even feel like he was by the foot of the... You know, he was nowhere near the climbing frame, let's just say. And he said, you know, it, it was that I would step off and he was at the bottom. And after the first time that happened and I stepped off without him being ready for me, he then learned. And as soon as he saw me go to the climbing frame, he would start running because <laughs> he would know that if I got to the top before he got there, I would just step off. Never, ever, ever, ever cross my mind that my dad wouldn't catch me because my dad always caught me. He had a 100% record of in my lifetime of catching me when I jumped. So therefore, he was always going to catch me. Bless him. And obviously he did, because I'm here. Though a bump to the head would have explained things. Oh, just just stay there. Look, we just want some wood. I'm just minding my own business. I need to go and get that food into the fridge, don't I? I oh, have to come back out for a little bit of wood. But, um, yeah, bless him. So he always says he was the fastest dad in the playground. I guess that's why... I know I don't talk about my faith very much here. Not necessarily appropriate. Oh, is there a... Oh, is there, I thought that was a bear in the yard. It's a rock. <clears throat> but I have to say that was one reason why, for me, personally, it was easy when, you know, mum used to talk to me about... Father God, because, yeah, Daddy, yeah. Well, I was very fortunate that I had a very good role model for a dad, therefore the concept of trusting somebody called Dad, the father, was easy. Oh, you dinglebert. That would have made... Oh, okay, well, it's not lit, so surely that's the same. That means I put 11 in, haven't I? Yeah, we've, we've, we've put 11 in. Uh... Fire starter goes in there. Twisted fire starter. Fuel brick. We will do that. What else have we got to put in here? So we've got some wood. That's nice. Let's craft a few of these. You are off. We turn that on. What was the next thing we needed? We needed to make an ingot. One ingot and a sheet. One sheet does plenty. We can do the sheet. Let's do the ingot. Am I going to need one of those for the door, by the way? Yes, I am. So do you know what? We're just going to do another one of those whilst we're here. 
just because we can. Uh, I have some copper. Let's just put that on and then I need to go and get the iron out. And we will do things with those as well because I want to do that. So 39, that's good because we're going to do some power generation. Remind me, please, boys and girls. Power generation needs to be the thing. We're going to make a couple more of you. I'm going to put you away. Okay. One of those. And it was a couple of adhesive, I think. Is that right? Do, 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 do. Yes. Pieces trade. There you go. We are good to go. Nice. 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 I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. Now, power's not so good. Maybe let's just turn that off for a minute. And let's just turn you off for a minute. At uh, what's our there? Sorry, dizzy guys. Um in point eight, out point four one. Okay, so that's fine at the moment. Because obviously we'll wait the sun is out. Yeah, look, put point five four. Those are bringing in. The windmill bringing in nothing. So another solar panel. Uh, three circuit boards and a partridge and and one rope. Do we have any circuit boards made up? We do not. So it's going to be circuit boards. We need some more of these. One, two, three. Yes, I am watching my power. And I will probably put that... No, that doesn't work. Oh, oh let's make a bandage. But let's make a couple of bandages because we're actually doing all right on cloth. So whilst we are here... Let's make a couple more health kits as well. Seems we've been talking about it. The iron... No, not the iron... Well, yeah, put the iron away, actually, because the iron goes over there. Oh, might have to put the, that back on because the sun's going to go down. So we're going to turn you into biofuel. Put that grub in there. Oh, look, we've got, we've got quite a few, actually. We do have quite a few... I know this dries them out, but early game, when I am running out of things to feed them with, actually giving them cereal bars is a good thing. Put all canteens with water. There you go. Do you like it here, Chuck? I think you're safe in here. That sounded like a moose. I thought I heard a moose then. Oops, missed. Where? Sounded like the snort of a moose, I thought. Oh, there's a bag in my yard. There's a bag in my yard as opposed to a snake in my boot. Uh, do we do it from here? Oh, yeah. There you go. Um, down. I can never remember which door is on which floor. There you go. What do we reckon? Last minute revenge attack and another bandage. Do we reckon? Wouldn't surprise me. Because we assume it was the fisherman was from Charlie because Alf uh, Bravo normally fish in the pond up there. So yeah, don't know. This I've decided I'll go do something else with this. I don't know what, but I don't like that being there, I've decided. Ah, uh, so I'm trying to think what I do with my storage. I could, with all those things, they could, I could put everything in the straight bits here. So we have sort of narrower bits. Or because of the range extenders being down here, I just could move, I oh know, because it's going to be a pain coming down here every time you want something. So I could glitch them through the floor. Everything could be in the corners underneath. Nah, I don't know. Really not so sure about that. Right, let's put you away. What were we doing? Power generation. Solar panel. Uh, 
one of those, three of those, four of those. I haven't got the power for it. I'm just... Why do I still have one of those on me? Did I pick up two? Oh, no. Oh, I must have done. I only needed one for the upgrade. So I'm really confusing myself here. Let's make the rope whilst we are here because we need that. I'm going to put you away. Oh, I was going to see if there was anything else to build up on the roof. Uh, no, that is where that goes. Oh, we're going to turn you on now because the sun's going down. So that's just got to be done, hasn't it? We need to cook some things as well. Oh, it's too many things to do. I want to go up on the roof and do some crenellations. I'll tell you what, let's put the rope away to be safe. Let's put you over here. So when I come to this and go, oh, what was I making? At least that's there. Uh, for adhesive, was it? Oops. Turn you on. I clearly can't see where I'm going. Should know by now, yeah. Four adhesive and ten scrap. Oh, walking into doors. So we are going to need some more mass. Uh, Annie, if you don't pick up your meat in time, you'll have plenty of burnt mass. Right, uh, veggie bubbles as well. Have a few of those. Uh, maybe cook another one of you up. So we've got something in the fridge for later. For Ron, for later Ron. I need to get used to seeing that hit bar wandering around over there. Now, I came over here for a thing. What did I open this for? It was this. Breaching charge. 1016. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's easy to do. It, other than the 80. Yeah. We can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and we don't have one made, do we? No, so breaching charge. Yeah, we've got the gear for that. We've got one grenade tipped arrow. Or one grenade rather we don't have any grenade tipped arrows because you've not been down to the caves Annie yeah you see ideally I'd go with three grenades even if I don't have grenade tipped arrows because I need to be able to get through those doors a bit quicker there was a hit bar over there I'm sure I saw another hit bar. Oh, I shall watch that back. Right. You come on here. Put your way. Cool. Right. So, let's go back up on the roof. Well, I'll tell you what. If I put this light on as well, then when we go up on the roof, have a little bit more light. Look at this. Right. So check the map quickly. Uh, where did I know there were rogues? There were rogues. Oh, there weren't rogues right on... So look at them! Right on Central Pond! Yeah, so they've moved. So past midnight. Right on the pond. Opposite my little base thing there. Nothing down here. At all? At all, at all? that bit was open so I wonder why I didn't see them or how did I just open that out now I don't know still got a little bit blank here other than that what's it up north because I was thinking about a run up north but whilst we whilst we've still only got one chicken um that might be a good idea to do so let's just get I do want to get some more of this crenellation done so we need to do a full curve and then it's a half wall which I don't have enough for okay it's quicker so for a half wall we need three so uh, 
one, two. And then if I was going to do another one of those, it would be another five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's do that then. And another, so 12 nails and another two of those. And one of those of those. There you go. Right, let's go and put this up at least. Then at least we've done something that we said. Right. You. I'll go in here because it's a nice bright night, so I shouldn't have to lighten this up. I think you can see pretty well. So now we can do that. Let's just do that. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, a run up north is a thing. Otherwise, we're just going to go out looting and we'll head our way out to Central Pond and see the rogues when we get there. That might work. But yeah, so the one day that we thought that we expected that we could get a revenge, we didn't get a revenge. Okay, so there you go. There you go. Right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. A little bit of fun today. Managed to get ourselves some sinew uh, and some unexpected rogues. So that's always a bonus. Don't forget to click like on the video, please. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye now.